Murali, unbelievable performer. You know, people talk about his action. Put that to one side, right? Because to me, he has been a fantastic bowler, both for Sri Lanka and the game of cricket. And I sympathise with him uh, for those people that say he throws it, he's done this, he's done that. He is a fantastic bowler and has been and always will be looked upon as one of the greatest ever. Uh, anyone who can spin the ball, I won't say that much, that much, as a regulation off spinner and then can bring the deucer in later on in his career and spin it that much away, he's going to be hard work. So his record speaks for itself. I first played against him, I think it was back in... 92-3 or nine, the winter of 92-3 in, in Sri Lanka and I'd never seen anyone first of all with an action like that but spin the ball as much as that um, and you know he burst onto the international scene and then he never ever looked back prolific wicket taker um, also he was able to bowl a lot of overs I don't know how many overs percentage wise he bowled in the Sri Lankan um, overs but he was a fit person Obviously, put a lot of stress and strain on his various parts of his body, um, but was brilliant. Always they called him the smiling assassin um, because he always had that big grin on his face, but would run up and, and get you out. But it was the amount he spun the ball. You know, he almost had to say, Right, I'm going to cancel out the offside because you always talk to play with the spin. Um, and even if the ball is pitched that much outside off stump, most off spinners will get back and try and punch it through the offside or get back and cut the ball. And when you first play against him, that's what you do. Because it would spin so much, you end up getting bottom edges back on uh, to the stump, so it would bowl you through the gate, etc., etc. Um, so it was difficult to master and get on top of Murali. Um, he bowled some bad balls, don't get me wrong, um, but because the amount he spun it, he actually got away with a lot as well, um, because people weren't looking to dominate him as perhaps they would uh, bowlers who didn't spin it quite as much. But brilliant for Sri Lankan cricket, brilliant for world cricket, and I'll take my hat off to him for what he's achieved. The difference between Murali and, and uh, Sacklane basically was the amount that Murali spun the ball because they could both, both bowl the doucher. Um, as I say, Sacklane brought it in first and then Murali developed it as time went on. And that made him an even better bowler against left handers because to begin with, against left handers, he spun it so much going away from the left hander, they could get back and cut him or just let it go. But once he developed the ball to come back into the left hander, um, most left-handers uh, then struggle against him. I remember talking to Graham Thorpe about how all of a sudden Murali has changed uh, in the way you look to play him. So, uh, you know, well done Murali uh, for bringing in that development. But, you know, it was really the amount he spun the ball um, which made him stand out um, or st stand ahead of the other bowlers. You know, Sacklane or Murali, you you'd have to go Murali as much as I hate to say that because Sacklane was my Surrey teammate. Murali's record just says you've got to pick him.